Hello there. I hope this is not a two-parter because I'm going to bed after this one. <laughs> Let's go. I've just this is my third in a row today. What was that? Oh, uh, who's this? What on earth is going on here? Well, he must be alien. <laughs> yes, finally, the, the intro line of every, every episode. Because it's not a monster. Um, you know, they can cloak from it, be invisible. Now is not the time to be tired. <laughs> Means there's someone there. Communications are down. The mysterious light over there. Her leg again! She just hurt her leg in last episode, mate. Give her a break. Yeah, don't go in there. Oh, yeah, now you're going in there, okay. Good start. Intergalactic agent. Hmm. Wait, does Mizuki know what he's from? I like the mystery of him. We don't know if he's a good guy or a bad guy. Is that his... Hmm. Oh, she just thought it was an alien, that's it, okay. No, it's definitely something. Badly. He didn't believe her. Fair enough. Kesam. To be fair, I'd love to do that as well. That would be cool. Except there's no people. I'm guessing he's met some bad people on other planets then. I see. He's not wrong about that. He's also not wrong about that. Uh, he's not wrong there either. Okay, to be fair, it might actually be a bomb. Yeah, it is. What's its range? Oh, so it can destroy the entire planet. What? Well, that's... Just like that, just one, one device does all of that. Um, so what, he's destroyed planets and left? True.
Yeah, well, he's not. He's he, he's got a certain ally, mate. Max is not human. Uh, one more arrow to charge. Five minutes. <laughs> it gives them a lot. That's even less time than the Monster Island rock rocket. You have to stop the bomb, mate. You can save M Mizuki later. <laughs> I love those two. Sean and Cobra. They're the ultimate duo. Or can he transform into something as well? Into a tornado? Right. Okay. Into that. He looks like a predator from the predator movies, but with a weird face. Why does he look sad? He, he was kind of thinking about something, but then he thought, nah. Look, five minutes to the bomb. Three minutes Ultraman can last. This is a, a tricky calculation. I wonder if he acts alone or whether someone orders Kasam around. D -d Does someone send him or is he his, his own thing? Fantastic. Good save. He is thinking, he is considering. Wow. That, that was a cool camera angle. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Everyone's like, yes. Mizuki's like, no. Space. Yeah, he's in big trouble now. Well. There he goes, activated. 20 seconds. He's deactivated it. Changed his heart. Yeah, damn. It's kind of sad. Feeling a bit more jolly, maybe, you know? She didn't have a signal in fairness. Yeah, maybe it happened by episode 40, so maybe not that long. <laughs> yes, I avoided the scene after this screen. Brilliant. Anyway, yeah, that was uh, that was good. That was interesting. I, I, um, Kasam was an interesting character, because um, at first you didn't know like what kind of person he was. But then you find out, oh, he's an alien that travels planet to planet, and he sees these civilizations that are at war with each other, destroying their own planet, so he destroys 
heaven on the planet and then leaves the planet moves planet to planet destroying <laughs> civilizations that failed i guess in his eyes um you you can understand like his like his frustrations at civilizations going to war and conflict and destroying their own planet destroying their environment you know that that's very relevant to earth you know earth is very guilty of that for sure well i mean humans are guilty of it but obviously humans live on earth um and he's probably seen this sort of same thing on other planets and other civilizations and other peoples and his perspective is to fix the problem you gotta get rid of all of them so it's very extreme but that was his mindset and then he obviously with a mindset like that obviously he'd eventually come to earth because that's what humans do on earth they go to war and they destroy the environment that's just what humans do that applies to real life as well so <laughs> it's a very common theme in a lot of Ultraman shows actually you start to realize that more <laughs> uh, some of the villains who turn up in different shows in Ultraman you know they have this same sort of reason but uh yeah obviously like his solution to destroying the entire civilization obviously was wrong as well and was very extreme uh, Mizuki tried to believe in him you know tried to believe that an alien who comes to earth can be good and you know it's possible can be good pigmon's good but um in the end it went badly like the captain said she trusted the wrong person uh but yeah, it was still an interesting, there's a good message there, but it was still very interesting. Uh, uh, and uh, Mizuki is not blameless, but you know, you could kind of understand what she was trying to do. So, and in the end, you know, he, uh, he actually, he, he, he stopped doing what he was doing because of her. Because of her words, she convinced the alien otherwise. So uh, that's fair. The way Ultraman Max took him out though, that slice and the way the camera was cut, that was really cool. <laughs> that was really cool. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that, that was really fun. So, hope you enjoyed that. I'm glad it's not a two-parter because I'm going to sleep. This is your boy Davidoff. Please like, yes, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and see ya. Let's take it slow. Where you go, I go to. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow. Who cares where we go? Good time wherever you're with me Let's take it